Welcome to Magic Info Services. My name is Joey and today I will show you how the Magic Info Web Author works. Let's get started. Once you're logged in into your Magic Info account, you get, the, you get your dashboard. Now, we're going to discuss the Web Author today, so we're going to click on Content and we're going to click on Web Author. Now, I'm going to select my supported device and it will automatically open the Web Author. First, I'm going to discuss on how to get a template set up and every time you add another page, your template will remain the same. This is how you do it. On the top, you click on the master page. And you click on previous page because you want page zero to be your master page. Now, here you can um, create your own template. So, for example, I'm going to create one real quick. I'm going to add these lines. I'm going to add two of them. Like this. And I want to include a time slot, for example. Now, once this time is inserted here at the top, you can select your time zone. And you get to select your daylight saving time, if that's applicable for you. So this is my template I would like to use for every single slide. Once this is done, and you can see I'm still on page zero, I'm saving the file. So I'm saving it right now, and I click on save, and I'm going to provide it with a name. So once the saving is done, you can close the web author, and you go back to your content, and here you can see my template that I just created. Now all there is left is you have to save your LSD file as a template. So you select your file, you click on save as template, you give it a name, and you select your group. So if I open the web author again, and if you click on templates, you can see on the left hand side the template that you just created and saved. So every time someone opens the web author again, the templates will always be there. So now we're going to discuss some extra options in the web author. For example, I can um, adjust the background. I can insert different shapes. This one, for example. Like this. I can add some text. And as you can see, you're free to go to place it wherever you want. Now, because it's black on black, it's quite hard to read. So I want the text to be white. As you can see, you can adjust it to anything you want. Now, I can also upload content in here. For example, I want to include this picture. I can adjust the size and put it in a corner. But I can also include some widgets. I can include web elements and RSS feeds, for example. And here's how you do it. You select this globe and you drag it into your field. Here at the top, you can edit the URL that you want to show and it will only show the website on this tiny little display. Or if you want it to be full screen, you can simply make it bigger. And this symbol is for the RSS feed and I can drag it in here and I can select the field I want the RSS field to be shown. And here at the top, you get to adjust the title to the date and the description. But you can also uh, select the animation text on how you want the flow to run. So from left to right or right to left. That's up to you. Here you can edit the URL you want to show and you can save it. You can also, on any content items in the web author, lock them. And by locking them, you do not allow any other users from your account to adjust them. 
So for example, if I want the web element to always be there, I can lock it here and click on lock element. As you can see, there are multiple options in the web author. I've just shown a few of them. And once you have your time, you can play around a bit more if you wish so. As you can see, the content is now up and running. On my right hand side, left for you, you get to see the template that I created with the little clock in the corner. And on the other side, you get to see the other screen I created with the web element in the top. And this is basically how the web author works. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.